Yeah, they come. Sometimes they push me off and they push me in the water. I hate when they do that. Oh, hello Yoshi players. This is Yoshi player here and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. In the last episode we got up to about halfway through World 2. There's no other words I have to say, so let's just jump right back into it. I said in the last video that I was going to be playing this game without using save states and that was a big mistake because in the last video I had about 23 lives, I think. And now in this one, I'm back down at 4, because I hate the game's design philosophy where it saves your progress, but it doesn't save the amount of lives you have. And I don't want that excuse like, oh, it was 95, it was the Super Nintendo. Crash Bandicoot came out two years after this. No, Crash 2 came out two years after this game, and that could save your lives. I don't really understand why these games couldn't do that. I don't know if it's because of the save storage that these games used, but either way, I don't get it. I just, I hate that. I'm also worried about whether or not getting a game over will restart me at the beginning of that save zone, or if it just restarts me at the beginning of the level. I hope it's the latter, because I'm going to scream if it turns out to be the former. Like, oh, you got a game over, now you got to start from your last save point. That will, I will be infuriated if that happens. Yep, I'm gonna kill you both. I know I wouldn't, I know I didn't have to, but I don't care. Fuck zingers. <laughs> Sometimes I like looking at the other Kong and what they're doing. Like, what the hell is going on with Diddy Kong there? <laughs> it's just so silly. I think this level is actually one of my least favorites, but not because it's hard, but because it's just, it's just really boring. Like, all you do is ride on this balloon and that's it like not much else really happens aside from that you're just riding this balloon kind of reminds me of that lava segment from Yoshi's Island where you're like riding on the log and you're riding along the lava that's what it feels like huh you know th these games actually came out the same year isn't that ironic <laughs> And in case anybody's asking, no, I have not played Donkey Kong Country 3. Uh, I might do that someday, but we'll see. I've heard it's... Apparently, I've heard it's the worst game in the series. A lot of people say the first and second games are the best, but I never hear anybody say that many great things about 3. So, is that because it's not as fun? Is it because it's really hard? I don't know, because I've seen a lot of people say this game is the hardest, so... We'll, we'll have, we'll have to see. Maybe someday I'll, I'll give it a test run and see what happens. I guess while I'm here I could talk a little bit about projects I have coming up. So, Sticks Reborn, uh, the next episode of that is going to be coming out next month. Uh, I, there was actually a point where I was planning to release them, like, weekly, but after my la- Oh! <laughs> You interrupted me, you fucking stupid, disgraceful insect. But then my laptop broke, so I had to hold off on that plan. And trying to animate with the new touchpad on my new laptop is quite irritating. Don't tell me I didn't get anything from that. That was a fairly high distance, I say. And as for Ordinary Girl, uh... Still not sure what's going on with that because I'm trying to look for an animators. Because I've been meaning to give the show more of like a higher budget or like make it look a bit prettier. Because I don't really think the sticks animation style is, or like the animation frames that I usually do, I don't think it's really going to fit it for long because I want it to be more action oriented and I'm not the best at animating action like that. So, I'm looking for animators, and I haven't been successful, but we'll see. And, yeah, let's tackle. that. That's still going on. I still have to finish my analysis video on my channel. And then I have to review certain, certain fucking show that I'm not looking forward to doing. At least Cleve will be helping me out with that one. And then I get to talk about one of my favorite games of all time. So, that'll be fun. Ah, uh, here's the bird. I remember his name. His name is Squawks, but honestly, I think he might be my least favorite animal in the game. Maybe, I'm not sure, but basically you just gotta tap B over and over again, and you also have to avoid enemies, and he's a bit slippery, and 
you also have to shoot projectiles. I don't know if those are oranges, are they peanuts? I'm not sure, but yeah. It asks a lot from you and later levels with this guy, especially the purple one, which does not shoot projectiles, can be a pain in the ass. Red stingers can fuck themselves. Or at least stab themselves with those big ass stingers on their bodies. Yeah, I figured it was better to get the coin because I didn't have the K, so it wasn't okay. That was a terrible joke, I'm sorry. Now, nah, it's better when you say it like, okay. This boss is. Uh, I, I sort of debate whether this or the first boss is harder, but. This one isn't too bad, or you, you just gotta be really fast, that's all you gotta do. Oh, and I, f I found out one time that apparently his flaming balls can reflect your metal ball, I don't get that. It's a cannonball, why don't I call it a metal ball? Oh, is it dead? No, it's not dead. <laughs> Diddy Kong has the most pathetic tea bag. like that's not, that is clearly not a tea bag. It's, 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 it's the obligatory Smash Brothers moment, yes. I think I'm gonna keep doing that. Oh, I see coins up there. I'll deal with this fucker first. Actually, I should switch to Dixie and then I can grab those coins. Thank god the game pauses a bit when you switch. Come on. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, nailed it. I think he has one more hit. Yep, oh, I didn't even need to throw it. He just came above me, you idiot. Yeah, stupid sword, and you're only a sword, so screw you. Okay, world three, the last fun world of the game. I know people might think that I'm being too mean, but trust me when I... Oh, come on. Fuck you, stupid rats. Trust me when I say this game can get pretty fucking bullshit. And I know some people say, oh, it's hard, but it's challenging. Like, you can still beat it. I don't know about that. I do not know about that statement. Oh, I thought I would hit that. I don't know if that was a zinger or those dragonflies. I hope. Nope. Oh, oh. That always throws me off. Every time you roll... There's like always like a split like stop of the frame. There we go. Almost hit that thing here too. Dude, stop laughing at me. It's not funny. It's not even that funny. Like all I'm doing is trying to get a letter. What's so funny about that? Well, you're not funny. You can die. Kill you. Yep, give me those bananas. How do I get past that? There we go. Like how do I get past them? I just did. I swear I jinx everything. It's like everything I say. Oh, what the fuck? That's way too precise. God damn it. <laughs> That's, uh, you're very precise in the air. Should I get that G? Well, I got it anyway. Oh, come on. Two times. Two times in the exact same spot. I swear to God. If I die again. To this fucking barrel. You have to be! Motherfucking kidding me! Shut up. Shut up! I don't care! I have died in that same spot three motherfucking times! I can't even cheese it! I have to do this! Please. Please! Please don't kill me after that point, because there were no checkpoints. No checkpoints after that point anyway. The obligatory rule that every level can only have one checkpoint. I suppose if there's one other good thing I can say about Donkey Kong Country 2 is that, well, not only is the music really good, but I like how each level, for as bullshit as they can get, always changes things up. Like each water level here is different. One's normal and then one's got lava, the other one's in the dark and like you know I kinda like that design philosophy. 
kind of like makes each level stand out. Not always in the best way if you ask me, but you know, still a decent way. Shit. Sometimes I ask myself which game is worse to play through Donkey Kong Country 2 or Donkey Kong 64 because I am unapologetically admitting that I really do not like Donkey Kong 64. I actually think it's one of the worst N64 games. I oh, what the? Okay then. That was a weird glitch. A, a sudden flash. And Dixie's gone. So... That, 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 that was a surprise. I'm gonna blame the PAL version for that. That's what I'm gonna do. Or maybe it's the emulator, I don't know. Fuck! Ah! What? <laughs> How far away was I from the puffer fish? And yet it still got me somehow. I love how it came up all that way and I didn't even see it. Yep, that's how we roll. <sighs> I have decided I'm not gonna save the game yet. There was a save point back there, but screw it. I have enough time. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, these enemies are annoying. Because like, they kind of remind me of Sephiroth from... Oh, shit. God, I forgot I was playing as Diddy, not Dixie. I really like her gliding ability. Those those sword enemies remind me a bit of Sephiroth in that their sword can kill you no matter what direction you can be in. They got long ass swords. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh fuck. Uh, I was I was just so thrown off by that freaking Kremlin that jumped out of nowhere. Yeah, that, 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 that's another thing I really don't like about this game. There's a lot of enemies where they just sort of come in when you don't expect them to come in and then you have like a split second to react before they kill you. Like, that was a split second reaction back there. Oh, and that was just bad timing. Fuck me. I don't know where those fuckers are. Ugh. Every time I get killed by a zinger, I die a little inside. Both die in the game and die a little bit here. Come on. Come here. You're not going to throw me off again. Oh shit, zinger. Fuck you. Wait for him to drop. There we go. Yeah. I love that glide ability. I don't know where the spider was. Ah, oh, but thanks, thanks, Nanus. You showed me a bonus level. Welcome to bonus stage. Ah, here's the spider. I'm gonna kill all the zingers. You know what? This is my favorite bonus level so far. Because I get to kill all the zingers. And yeah, I'm gonna run out of time. Damn it, shoot higher, you bitch. Whoa! Oh my lord! I thought I was gonna lose that, but nope. I managed to. Ah! Oh god, you freaking scare me. I mean, you don't scare me, you're a little baby crocodile. With two long ass swords. Yep, just gonna cheese it. <laughs> Bye! Bye, everybody! Oh god! Oh, those zingers, they throw me off every time. Shit, shit, shit. Don't fuck this up. Thank God. Oh, thank God I'm at the end. Dun, dun, dun. Fuck you! God damn it. Did he stop rapping? How about you actually throw your little beatbox at that zinger? Like, you throw barrels, throw your little thing at it. No, you're not going to do that? Okay, fuck you then. I think this might actually be one of my favourite levels in the game. Basically, you play as the snake throughout the whole level, and... Like, you just jump around a lot, and... It's actually a lot of fun, like... The snake's not too hard to control, and... It's just like a lot of nice jumping here. I will say, though, one problem I do have with this level is that sometimes you jump a bit too high that it's hard to see where you're going to land. 
at least sometimes, because sometimes the, the game will just, oh, you jump high, but the camera's still going to be on the ground, except for that point. And another cool thing is that I get to kill a bunch of singers, so that's always a plus. That's always a plus in my Donkey Kong levels. Oh, where did you come from? That's bullshit. No. Oh my god, I swear a lot of this game is just getting hit by something you don't have enough time to react to. Oh god, no you do not. You are not going to surprise. Where did you... You jumped high enough, I was expecting there to be a certain time, but nope. Just snuck up on me again. Oh my god, they just keep doing this. Oh no, no, I was gonna use Dixie Kong. Ah, the pink piranha. The worst enemy in the game. And the funny part is that it only shows up in two levels. And one of them's a snow level, so... Yeah. Why is he the worst? Because if you jump in that water at any time... It will get you instantly. Like, yeah, you could get out of it if you're really quick about it, but most of the time you won't expect it. And, like, right then, get away from me. God, see, that kind of shit just throws you off and you only have seconds to react. And now I have, wait, oh, no. oh, I was trying to go for Diddy Kong. You had to be in my way. But I also have to rush it because the water can rise up. It rises up really quickly once you start going. Oh, thank Lord for the checkpoint. Oh, there you are, Diddy. I missed you. You're so much better than Donkey Kong, even though you sound like an annoying prick in the cartoon. <laughs> Stupid singers are everywhere. I swear they're in like 90% of the levels in this game. Uh, just keep going, I don't care. Oh god. Yeah, they come. Sometimes they push me off and they push me in the water. I hate when they do that. Oh! What? Oh! Fuck! Fuck that piranha! You know, maybe if it wasn't for the piranha, this level would actually be a bit easy. But nap. Nah. Just got to ruin my day with that stupid piranha. Sometimes I actually come close to beating this level without dying once. And it always fucks me up because everything is annoying in this level. Even you guys, despite the noises you make. What? I didn't see where I was going to land. Oh, I don't even care about the cannon. I just want to get out of this hell hole. Wait, where's Diddy? I heard him. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm at the end of the level. <laughs> oh, there's the DK coin. I didn't know it was down there. And that piranha. Yeah, smell you later, piranha. Hope you rot in hell, you bitch. Oh, I hate this level too. Not necessarily because it's hard, but because it's just really boring. Like, all you do is shoot yourself through barrels and that's it. Oh, and there's the occasional platforming moment, but most of the time it's just shooting yourself out of barrels. I think I know which way I'm supposed to go. Oh, yeah, great. Don't shoot me out that way, you stupid freaking barrel. Oh my god, just be nice to me. You're not gonna... Uh... Fuck these stupid barrels, I hate them. I think there's an enemy there. Yep. Oh, this part I can cheese. Boom. Easy. Yeah, like I said, this level's not really hard, it's just boring. With all these barrels everywhere. Huh, you know, on my first playthrough, that actually took me a lot longer to figure out. I guess I've become sort of familiar with this game. I don't see that as a compliment, though. I just sort of remember some things about this game. Oh, I would have spent a lot longer on that level, and 
Thank God I didn't. Oh, just having a bit of a stretch. This boss frustrated me on my first playthrough because he sort of pulls a Morton, like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, where if he lands and you're still on the ground, he can stun you. And that club he has is really long. It reaches very far, so he can hit you very easily. Oh, what? He never does that shit. What kind of design is that? Fuck this guy. I hate him. I think he takes like six hits, or is it five? I can't remember. Yeah, he didn't try to hit me that time. Maybe it's because I wasn't close to him. But this level, I just figure out that oh, I just have to jump at the right points and time my jumps. Because on Switch Online, that's how me and Shane played it. There's, I think there's a bit of input lag, like, it's not as bad as I remember it, but it still can be pretty annoying. I'm nowhere near close to you, don't even attempt to hit your thing with me. Yeah, I think there's three hit points left, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no! Ugh. What? How? I was nowhere near the ground, and yet somehow I still got stunned. And he starts jumping faster. Ah! Uh, come on. One more. One more. Yes! Oh, thank God. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hope you shove that club up your ass. Oh, God. It's like, sometimes there's satisfaction with beating a boss, but most of the time it's just a sigh of relief. Okay, so, yeah. World 3, that's the end of the fun stuff. Now we're getting into the bullshit stuff. And wouldn't you know it, the first level is a honey level with all those zingers everywhere. Because that's just what I needed in Donkey Kong Country 2. The game about rescuing Donkey Kong from K. Rool. It usually takes place in the jungle. Nah, a honey place. Because clearly we haven't had enough of the zingers. Actually, I think the, the, oh, come on. I think the wall jumping physics in this game are a little wonky. Like, instead of just pressing A to do a wall jump, you have to hold the direction you want to jump and then press B. I, I think I just, I think I said A accidentally. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess sometimes I think of the Xbox controller. Come on. Or maybe an NES controller, I don't know. I know there's a spider in this level, and once you get it, it makes the level a lot easier. But I think it's up there. Please tell me it's up there. Come on, spider. I want you. Yes! Spider! <sighs> I never thought I'd be so happy to see a spider. But I am. Unless I get hit, and then I'm fucked. Yep, fuck you, Zinger. Well, zingers, because there was a couple. Fuck you. Oh, no, no! Car! Fuck you! Got rid of my spider! Now I'm fucked! Level would have been so easy to cheese with the. <laughs> Fuck this! Thanks, now I can't ch- <sighs> oh, Stupid wall in my way! No, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going back for the spider. I know I don't usually run back, but fuck it, I don't care. I'm going back. Where's the spider? Oh, fuck you! It was right up there! <laughs> fuck this level. Fuck everything about it except for the spider. I want the spider. God, I'm not losing you again to that stupid enemy. The one that throws the shits at you. Actually, no, screw what I- forget what I said about the piranha. The zingers are the worst enemies in the game, especially the red ones that you can't even kill. Because unlike the piranha, these zingers are everywhere. The 
because that stupid enemy from before. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Didn't even see it, and I still killed it. Thanks, Mr. Oh, that's it for the spider. Aww. I like the spider. Although, I think it's at the end of the level. Yep. It's at the end of the level. Thank God for that. Actually, I think there might have been a secret in there. Oh, there's a save point. I'm gonna use it now. I've been I think I've been recording this for like 40 minutes. I am not playing anymore today. So yeah, looks like the real torch is about to begin because the next video is gonna be spent on World 4 and it's gonna be torture. I can guarantee it's gonna be torture for me, for my head, for my arms, for I don't know, everything in my body. It'll be fun. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Donkey Kong Country 2. I know I could just call it Diddy's Conquest, I don't care. I really don't care. So, thanks for watching. Until the next episode, keep on playing.